The Maliki Arabic, Malki school is one of the four major madhab of Islamic jurisprudence within Sunni Islam. It was founded by Malik ibn Anas in the 8th century. The Maliki school of jurisprudence relies on the Quran and hadiths as primary sources. Unlike other Islamic fiqhs, Maliki fiqh also considers the consensus of the people of Medina to be a valid source of Islamic law. The Maliki madhab is one of the largest group of Sunni Muslims, comparable to the Shafi'i madhab in adherence, but smaller than the Hanafi madhab. Sharia based on Maliki doctrine is predominantly found in North Africa, excluding northern and eastern Egypt, West Africa, Chad, Sudan, Kuwait, Bahrain, the Emirate of Dubai, UAE, and in northeastern parts of Saudi Arabia. In the medieval era, the Maliki school was also found in parts of Europe under Islamic rule, particularly Islamic Spain and the Emirate of Sicily. A major historical center of Maliki teaching from the 9th to 11th centuries was in the mosque of Uqba of Tunisia. History Although Malik ibn Anas was himself a native of Medina, his school faced fierce competition for followers in the Muslim East, with the Shafi'i, Hanbali, and Zahiri schools all enjoying more success than Malik's school. It was eventually the Hanafi school, however, that earned official government favor from the Abbasids. The Malikis enjoyed considerably more success in Africa, and for a while in Spain and Sicily. Under the Umayyads and their remnants, the Maliki school was promoted as the official state code of law, and Maliki judges had free reign over religious practices. In return, the Malikis were expected to support and legitimize the government's right to power. This dominance in Spanish Andalus from the Umayyads up to the Almoravids continued, with Islamic law in the region dominated by the opinions of Malik and his students. The Sunnah and Hadith, or prophetic tradition in Islam, played lesser roles as Maliki jurists viewed both with suspicion, and few were well versed in either. The Almoravids eventually gave way to the predominantly Zahiri Almohads, at which point Malikis were tolerated at times but lost official favor. With the Reconquista, the Iberian Peninsula was lost to the Muslims in totality. Although Al Andalus was eventually lost, the Maliki has been able to retain its dominance throughout North and West Africa to this day. Additionally, the school has traditionally been the preferred school in the small Arab states of the Persian Gulf Bahrain, Kuwait and Dubai. While the majority of Saudi Arabia follows Hanbali laws, the country's eastern province has been known as a Maliki stronghold for centuries. Principles <inaudible> 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 Maliki schools' sources for sharia are hierarchically prioritized as follows, Quran and then trustworthy hadiths sayings, customs and actions of Muhammad, if these sources were ambiguous on an issue, then backquote amal customs and practices of the people of Medina, followed by consensus of the sahaba the companions of Muhammad, then individuals' opinion from the sahaba, qiyas analogy, istisla interest and welfare of Islam and Muslims, and finally urf custom of people throughout the Muslim world if it did not contradict the higher hierarchically higher sources of sharia, the Maliki school primarily derives from the work of Malik ibn Anas, particularly the Muwatta Imam Malik, also known as al muwatta The Muwatta relies on Sahih hadiths, includes Malik ibn Anas' commentary, but it is so complete that it is considered in Maliki school to be a sound hadith in itself. Malik included the practices of the people of Medina and where the practices are in compliance with or in variance with the hadiths reported. This is because Malik regarded the practices of Medina the first three generations to be a superior proof of the «living» sunnah than isolated, although sound, hadiths. Malik was particularly scrupulous about authenticating his sources when he did appeal to them, however, and his comparatively small collection of ahadith, known as al muattah or, the straight path. The second source, the al mudawana is the collaborator work of Malik's longtime student, Ibn Qasim and his Muaytahid student, Sanan. The Mudawana consists of the notes of Ibn Qasim from his sessions of learning with Malik and answers to legal questions raised by Sanan in which Ibn Qasim quotes from Malik, and where no notes existed, his own legal reasoning based upon the principles he learned from Malik. These two books, i.e. the Mu'attah and Mudawana, along with other primary books taken from other prominent students of Malik, would find their way into the Muqtasar Khalil, which would form the basis for the later Maliki Madhab. Maliki school is most closely related to the Hanafi school, and the difference between them is more of a degree, rather than nature. 
However, unlike Hanafi school, Maliki school does not assign as much weight to analogy, but derives its rulings from pragmatism using the principles of istisla public interest wherever the Quran and Sahih hadiths do not provide explicit guidance. Notable differences from other schools The Maliki school differs from the other Sunni schools of law most notably in the sources it uses for derivation of rulings. Like all Sunni schools of Sharia, the Maliki school uses the Quran as primary source, followed by the sayings, customs, traditions and practices of Muhammad, transmitted as hadiths. In the Maliki school, said tradition includes not only what was recorded in hadiths, but also the legal rulings of the four rightly guided caliphs, especially Umar. Malik bin Anas himself also accepted binding consensus and analogical reasoning along with the majority of Sunni jurists, though with conditions. Consensus was only accepted as a valid source of law if it was drawn from the first generation of Muslims in general, or the first, second or third generations from Medina, while analogy was only accepted as valid as a last resort when an answer was not found in other sources. Malik was reported to have only actually used analogy himself one time, which he regretted on his deathbed. Notable Malikis Yahya al Laythi, d. 848, Andalusian scholar, introduced the Maliki school in al Andalus. Sanan a 167 77 a 55 Sunni jurist and author of the Mudawana, one of the most important works in Maliki law. Ibn Abi Zayd, 310 Tunisian Sunni jurist and author of the Risala, a standard work in Maliki law. Yusuf ibn Abd al-Bar Andalusian scholar Ibn Tashfin one of the prominent leaders of the Almoravid dynasty Ibn Rushd Averroes philosopher and scholar al kurchubai Shihab al-Din al-Karafi (1228–1285), Moroccan jurist and author who lived in Egypt. Khalil ibn Ishaq al-Jundi (d. 1365), Egyptian jurist, author of Muqtasar. Ibn Battuta (February 1304–1377), explorer. Ibn Khaldun (1332 A732 808 scholar, historian, and author of the Muqaddimah. Abu Ishaq al shatibi D. 1388, a famous Andalusian Maliki jurist. Qadi e Yad. Topic: Contemporary Malikis. Usman Dan Fodio (1754–1817), founder of the Sokoto Caliphate. Lhadj Umar Tal (1794–1864), founder of the Tukular Empire. Amir Abdelkader (1808–1883), Algerian Sufi and politician, religious and military leader who led a struggle against the French colonial invasion. Ahmad al Alawi (1869–1934), Algerian Sufi leader. Omar Mukhtar (1862–1931), Libyan resistance leader. Abdallah bin Bayya. Muhammad ibn Abd al Karim al Khattabi, Moroccan resistance leader. Abu Abdullah Adalabu. Sherman Jackson. Salah ud Din at Tajani. Hamza Yusuf. Sahib Webb. See also List of Islamic scholars The Seven Fuqaha of Medina Adan Islamic views on sin